Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Emma Void's Let's Play of Time Spinner. So, last we left off, we had uh, gone up to the top of that, well, almost the top of that castle in past Malachium. There's still that one area we couldn't reach, but I'm sure we'll get there eventually. And now we've got. Let's see, we made access to over here, so I'm not entirely sure where we're headed next, but I'll figure it out. Boop. Alright. So who was it here we wanted to talk with? Oh. There we go. Come on. Hey, I found some records. And it's pretty damning. Even if the records are from Lachiem's perspective, I did find some documents from Villette as well, and Voltarillus was a despot. Anyone who questioned his new social order was silenced, and all his investments into education, alchemy, understanding magic, all for power. Those who had that power enjoyed the fruits of the Empire, but those who didn't... Hardship, poverty, with no way to get out of it. If they had magic in the family, the rest of the family was taken care of. Not nearly as often as you were told. Most were left to die. They could be killed by the authorities for little reason and with little consequence. The list of Volterilis' infractions goes on, and that's not even question that's not even touching what he did to the Lachiemi, to Queen Philia. I know. What? I I think I've known for a long time, but it's been my whole life. Believing in this cause, protecting my soldiers, how could I turn my back on that? I understand. I've certainly learned myself that things are far more complicated than they seem, than I want them to be. Now what? We're stuck here anyway. The war is pretty much over. We're going to have to live here. Maybe there's a way to do so in peace. Thanks, Lunais. Hey! And now we have another subquest. What's up, Haristel? So, the war's over then? I guess so. The Lachiemi have denounced the demons and the portal to the land is gone. All that's left, I guess, is to rebuild. Not quite. Oh? You may have noticed, but not all the Lachiemi soldiers seem to have gotten the peace message. There are still elements chafing against Queen Elana's new direction. How do you know? One of them used to be my top soldier. Until he defected. I will help the new peaceful aspirations of Elana where I can. We will rebuild our lives on this world. But first, Kentoran needs to die. It's the only way we'll ever achieve peace. The element of revenge probably doesn't hurt. A little. Will you help? Of course. Alright. So, that's what we're up to next. We've got a new side quest. Let's see. Hairsto, Henry, former top soldier, Kentorin. So I guess now the fun part is going to be trying to find whoever this is. Well, alright. Here's one area we haven't been to yet. Oh, well. Not what I was hoping for, but a bunch of treasure is pretty cool too. Here we go. And another spot we haven't reached yet. Peace Treaty. Emperor Volterillus, I send this missive with Queen Philia, rightful ruler of independent Lachiam, to augment her entreaty for peace. I offered to come in her stead, given our history together, but she believed it important to represent her world herself. I hope you recognize the honor in that. We've taken control of the portal between our worlds. As you have seen, we have strength, we have allies, we have learned to survive on this world. We will not fall even to the bleakness. If this conflict continues, thousands more will die, and you will be no closer to subduing us. We entreat you. Let us end this now. We are still willing to negotiate an arrangement like I suggested those years ago. Some of the vast resources of Lachiam for plasma from Villette, a mutually beneficial arrangement. Please listen to Philia. 
She is wise and she wants only peace. Don't make the same mistake as before. Princess Elana of Lachian. Yeah, that, uh, that didn't quite work out. Boop. Ah, I think this might be what we're looking for. Maybe. Or maybe not. Philia, I have sent this letter under the guise of a diplomatic missive. I hope it reaches you safely. To put it simply, I miss you. Since returning to the lab, I have been able to think of little but our time together. Our talks in the gardens, the dinners under the blue sky, your warmth in the cold nights. Even the early signs of bleakness were nothing next to your, next to your touch. You've opened my eyes, Philia. Now that I am back on the lap, I begin to see those things I never saw before. I live in such an open environment, I do not see the oppression that lives beneath it. How the very culture works to hold down those without auras, while blinding the upper classes to their struggles. How their needs are invisible to us. It is not simply a class of hierarchy. They are treated as less than human. Meanwhile, we seek to exterminate them altogether. The magic class is socially forbidden from fraternizing with those without, let alone have children with them. We are breeding a more powerful race of magic users, like Volterillus is simply waiting for the rest to die off, or killing those who don't die off fast enough. Volterillus is powerful, and concerned only with his power. There will be no reconciliation with Lachiam, nor victory in conflict. However, I will see what I can do in the courts. Perhaps I can find a way to make things easier for you. I hope construction of your castle continues to go well. I miss you. With love, Ilana. Aww. Okay, well... Also not what we were looking for, but... Still a nice thing to find. <laughs> Boop. Hmm. Okay, this is new. There's anywhere any way for us to get up there. Hmm. Alright. Well, I'm a little lost on where to find that side quest enemy. So I decided let's go make use of that new key card we got. Oh goodness. Hell gazers. <laughs> Spinner gear 2, tuning gear needed to accurately use the time spinner second instead of 3. This looks familiar. This is part of the time spinner. One of the tuning gears. That's why I went back so far. This wasn't attached. There were supposed to be three of these to calibrate how far back the time spinner goes. Well, too late now. Lunaise, if you found all three, you could tune it properly. So? could do what you meant to do at the start, go to a different time. I could go back to before Nuvius ever found Windaria. I could actually save them. Heck, with the gears, I could go anywhere. Just need the other two. Easier said than done. And if I can't find them, I can still kill Nuvius. Yeah, well. Revenge! Oh. No wait, I know where else. Alright. And 
things. There we go. Oh, creeping fungus. You got cute little mini fungi that run around. They're so cute. Ow. I should be more careful about that. <laughs> It's still adorable. <laughs> there we go. Ah, looks like these eggs are pretty weak to the uh, electric attack. Oh, okay. Those ones don't fall. That's good to know. It's interesting that this place is closed off with a uh, proper keycard gate and everything, but there doesn't seem to be anything changed on the inside from back in the past. This is certainly spooky enough. Toad. Right. Well, those things are really weird. there. Now. 
And now things are getting spookier. Oh, here. Here we go. No. This is just a teleport spot. Hmm. Here. Well, I don't know what this thing is, but it's terrifying. Ow. Holy crud. Heal up a little more. And might actually have to use an ether now. with this thing. Oh, goodness. Okay. <laughs> um. Hey, that's a little stronger. Oh. Yeah, I just noticed there was a moth inside of it. 
Ah, oh, that is so weird. Okay, are we still poisoned? We're still poisoned. Let's go ahead and fix that. Right. Hey, we got another one of the time spinner gears. Another tuning gear for the time spinner. Just one more, and I could save Wunderia. I could save my clan. You've been changing time a lot, new names. That's my job. It's my duty. I can kill Nuvius now, thanks to the changes I made. Everything you do changes the timeline, changes the future. You've seen the effects of it. Yeah, Rahim here has changed. It's grown weaker, and those statues and things. All the changes are good. You can achieve your goal. You can't stop. I know that. But there are forces in the universe besides you humans. Like the demons. And like you, right? Just be careful. Some of them don't like when you change things. A lot is sacrificed. Our dreams are getting full. What's that mean? Uh, whatever. Hmm. That doesn't sound good. Alright. Let's explore. The rest of this area. Oh, <laughs> I guess that is the rest of this area. Boop. Okay, so now we'll try the other route and see if there's anything interesting up here. gemstone that looks like it contains a sea of stars. Interesting. And how about this? More elements beans. Those are always handy. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and quick travel back. Well, you look cute together. It's true, we do. So, speaking of changing the subject, it's looking like we're going to be here a while. Yeah, with that portal closed, it'll be a few hundred more years before a contact is re-established. What? I'm just guessing. Sure. I'm just... I'm starting to worry about our prospects, you know? You've been a great help in keeping us all fed and safe, but this is still a wild frontier. Even the Lachiemi don't have it easy, and they've established towns and everything. I can't keep asking you to go hunting for us. I'm just not sure what we're going to do long term. Hmm. You know, maybe there is something I can still do for you. Oh? Yeah. Wait here, Sekis. I'll be back. Modern Lachiem has certainly solved the food problem. Screw the timeline. I'll just bring them a food synthesizer from Vrandegray. I wonder where I can find one. Lunais, we already found one. You can just give it to them now. Ahem! Presenting your solution. A metal box? It's a, um, magic metal box. Experimental tech left over from, uh, a Venetian camp I found, uh, somewhere. <laughs> Watch! 
It makes food? It makes food. Well, I suppose that certainly will help. Thank you, Lunaise. You've made our lives so much better. In more ways than one. Thank you. M meat box! <laughs> Yay! Royal casserole. Nice. Alright. Chaos Blades. Go ahead and buy that. And the Oculus Ring. Buy that. And I guess we'll spend some of these on... There we go. Anybody else? No. Nobody else here has anything for us. Go real quick. Let's uh, maybe buy some more supplies. So, there's only one more place I can think of that, whoops, ugh, that we haven't been to yet. Let me, uh... Alright. So yeah, we'll go ahead and head over to that last, dang it, ugh, that last door we haven't been to. And maybe try to avoid the rest of these boogers. Here we go. Oh look, it's you again. Protecting another one of the gears? Ah, called it. Alright. The third tuning gear, with a working time spinner like the one Genza had, I could save my clan. I could change time the way I was always supposed to. They are growing more powerful. What? Who? The forces of the universe. Every, every time you change time. Right, you mentioned. You must be careful, Lunaise. If you change time too much, like doing what I was supposed to do this whole time, you've already changed so much. Too much more could be disastrous. He grows more powerful, but he can't keep up. He would have no choice but to do something drastic. What are you saying? That I can't save Wendaria? That these gears are useless to me? That I've been wasting my time? 
No, no sacrifice is wasted. If, if you were powerful enough, maybe you could stop him. I'll stop anyone who gets in my way. Right. Well. Huh. That's interesting. These things just flat out aren't affected by the time stop. Weird. I can find my father now and end this. Or I have the tuning gears. I can go to whatever time I want. It doesn't just have to be about revenge. I could fix things. I could kill Nuvius before he ever attacks our clan. I could save my mother. Or Nalisti and the others. I could go back further. Stop the war of the sisters from ever happening. Kill their emperor, Volterillus. Let all of my friends live better lives and maybe stopping Lachium from ever becoming like this. Lunais, those are big changes. Aren't they worth it? You've changed time so much already. Reality might not be able to take much more. If you do this, he will become powerful. He will rip you away. It would be a sacrifice, Lunais. One you would not come back from. But maybe... Maybe you could stop him. Who? Who is he, this power you keep mentioning? The Sandman. He controls dreams, and he keeps reality from fracturing. You've given him a lot of power. But maybe you're more powerful. So, I could kill Nuvius now. Get my revenge. Then what? Rule here, I suppose. I am the heir. Or return to the past to live with the others, with my friends. Or I sacrifice myself, fight this sandman, and fix everything. Huh. Well, you know what I just noticed? There's totally another door over here that I never went through. <laughs> oh. Emperor's Tower. Interesting. Ow. Ow. This place is full of these jerks, isn't it? Alright. Definitely feels like killing all of those guys is not worth my time.
Right. Well. Hey, come here, booger. I need to jump on you. No! <laughs> Shit. Let's try that again, shall we? There we go. Let's not fall all the way back down. This is it. Ah, so this is where we go if we want to just go ahead and kill the Emperor. Well, I don't want to do that. Looks like we're going to need to use some of that extra sand we found. Oh, and I should maybe go ahead and unequip those too. <laughs> is very quiet. I've just told them that Lunaeus' father is the Lachiami Emperor, the man responsible for so many of our woes. This is a disaster. He will redouble his efforts to find us, Grandmother Undar says. I know, I reply, full of shame and fear. 
We must act quickly. We must set our plan in motion. Lunaeus' birthday celebration. Her officially becoming a time messenger is tonight, Leah says. But I fear she's not ready. Send me with her, I say. What? The clan mother shakes her head. The two have never gone through the time spinner together before. We should try. If I go, I will never have existed, and so the Emperor will have no one to hate. But if I never existed, Lunaeus will never have been born, and we need her. If we go together, perhaps we will both survive together. We can stop Nubius and the Lachiemi. It is a huge risk, Thea says. But it must be done, Indar replies. We have little choice anymore. We must try. I nod. Thank you, clan mother. But let Lunaeus have her celebration. She has worked so hard for this. After the procession to the time spinner, we can tell her our plans. I nod again. Very well. Interesting. I guess that's what we came all the way up here for. Uh, boop. Alright, well. There are some places I haven't managed to get yet, but I'm pretty sure one of these choices, or going up and killing the Emperor myself, will wind up taking me to the end of the game. So, let's go ahead and take care of things. Stopping my father has always been my goal, but my duty is just to the survival of my clan, and there's more than one way to do that. And the list and the others, I have a greater duty as a time messenger. I can make a better world. I have a point, Your Eminence. I know you won't like it, but I propose... Hey! Intruder! Gods! Who are you? My name is Lunais. I'm from the future. Preposterous! You value magic, right, Volterilis? That's Emperor Vol- <laughs> I wasn't done talking. <laughs> ah, Lunais. Elana, you were right about the Lachiemi. You should visit them again, meet with their queen. I think you'll like them. You'll like- you'll like her. And Volterilis, your reign is over. What? Ilana, I know it's hard to see it now, but Villette is not the place the elite want to believe it is. Talk to Philia, and find some Valetian soldiers. Villis, Renata, Segis, Eshem. Make sure those last two meet. You will be a great ruler in peacetime. How dare you! This is treason! I'm not one of your subjects. It's not treason. It's regicide. <laughs> Holy crap! Ooh, goodness. Oh, interesting. Let's, uh, maybe heal up a little. This guy's tougher than I expected.
That's gross that you can eat those, but not really surprising. That was tougher than expected. <laughs> uh, do I still have my items? I do. That's good at least. Alright. So... <laughs> that fight's not going to be as easy as I expected, and I think that's probably enough for today's episode. So thanks so much for watching everybody. Come back next time and we'll see if we can finish the game. <laughs> Alright, if you enjoyed this episode, please like, subscribe, all that jazz, check in the doobly-doo, etc, etc. Bye everybody!